Hi guys, Red X Rain here with another episode of Let's Play Mission Impossible for the Nintendo 64. Um, so we're gonna go back to where did we leave off? That's right, KGB headquarters. We got out of the warehouse and all that sort of stuff. All right, so we're entering a section where our agents are being kept prisoner. Uh, gosh, what's her name? Barnes and uh, Candace Parker. Um, let's see. The disguise doesn't work here. That's right, because we're disguised as the ambassador. It's all coming back to me now, so we got to find someone better to be uh, head of security. Security area, surveillance cameras, be sure to shut them off so we don't trigger the alarm when taking Candace out. Okay. Um, we get all that team stuff. Uh, yeah, a lot of objectives here, it seems like, uh, but it's actually a pretty self-contained level. It's a pretty fun level. It's another one of those levels where... Um, you don't really shoot anybody. It's really more about getting the objectives done kind of peacefully, I suppose, for the most part. You'll see what I'm talking about. Um, okay, so I don't have my gun out because if you come out with the... Uh, I don't want to get in trouble for running in the hallways either. i got to look, gotta look um, dignified as the ambassador, right? I don't want to blow my cover. Uh, but yeah, you want to make sure you don't have your gun out, otherwise they will be on to you and you know, lose the level. Barnes, what happened to you? Ethan, at last. W what took you so long? <laughs> They've been g giving me a really hard t time. Oh! Before they got me, I managed to hide. Oh, the mask of... <laughs> Is he passing a kidney stone? <laughs> the security hallway. Oh, you'll find it in the... Arr. Yeah. Of course, you're going to find it in the... Arr. Knew he wasn't going to finish that sentence. <laughs> yeah, they never do, right? Um, breaking the fourth wall there a little bit. Um, so we've talked to Barnes, but uh, apparently we're not rescuing him because uh, he's a goner. One thing you might notice real quick is that uh, if uh, th this kind of sucks. So if you quit a level, so like last time when I was in the warehouse, um, I had like, I don't remember how many bullets I had, but I had way more than 15. The crappy thing is like once you like save the game and like go back or like retry a mission, you lose the ammo that they um, had given you before and you just kind of start. Every level has like a default start. Um, oh, yeah, there's a beeper up there. Man, this game is aged. Um, so, yeah, they start you off with every level as like a default ammunition starting point. So that, that kind of sucks that you lose that. Um, so we need to get into that room real quick. I like how you can actually hear the music from the party here. Kind of nice that they're kind of reminding you where you are. It's a nice little, very simple um, touch, but I like it. I'll be back. Uh yeah, I know I gotta do that. Um, so yeah, we gotta distract him by using the beeper. Oh my god, I haven't used a beeper in forever. Actually, I don't. I never used it. I was, I was uh, much too young. But I remember my mom having a, a beeper or a pager. So we're just gonna lay that down there, and we gotta walk away because if we're too close, there we go. it goes off. We only have a couple seconds here to run in here and just walk straight forward. You don't even. See, I never even see it, but the face maker is apparently in there. How it got in there, I don't know. <laughs> but it's there. He can keep it. It's outdated technology anyway. Um, okay. Oh, yep, yeah, and there's Candace. This area's KGB only. Ooh, well. <laughs> nice cover. Um, so yeah, unfortunately we can't get to her right now, but what we can do, what we need to do, is Got grab it. this on the desk. There's that video freezer. And from what I recall, I think if he's watching you, he gets suspicious and you can lose levels. You gotta make sure his back is turned. Yeah. Um, all right. So here's really the only little bit of uh, battle we get to do here. Good evening, officer. What brings you here, comrade Vlasov? Have you managed to get some information from our American guests? I wonder if the face maker changes their voices too. I haven't seen, gosh, I haven't seen the movie in forever. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, so we gotta knock this guy out and this alarm goes like crazy. It's real easy to take out. Do not use the gun. Um, I think it makes too much noise and it's just a waste of bullets. And we'll just, uh, we'll just hide this back here and of course, uh, use the face maker real quick. And there we go. Yeah, I, I don't remember. Uh, um, let's see here. Just just don't don't check. Just just trust me. <laughs> yeah, that makes the alarm go away. 
Uh, yeah, I haven't seen the movie in forever. Yes, it does look strange. And there's a dart gun there, don't forget that. Um, yeah, I, I don't remember if it changes person's voice or if you have to talk like that person. I should probably, I probably should have watched the movie going into this beforehand, but I don't know. Uh, right. So I got some guys in here. Yep. The ambassadors were looking for him. You're looking for him in this room? <laughs> you know, if you had just maybe gone into the next room, you could have done something about that. Uh, before we use the video freezer, here we just want to incapacitate these guards with the dart gun. The dart gun is a really weird weapon in this game. So sometimes, um, and let's put the video freezer in real quick. Sweet. Yeah, sometimes the dart gun just knocks people, will knock enemies out. Oh yeah, he's gonna send the transfer order, great. Sometimes it just knocks them out and they can get up in a couple of minutes. Other times it's like it kills them. It's pretty much in later missions where the dart gun kind of becomes less useful because it just uh, kind of stuns enemies and puts them to sleep and then they can wake up later. What? Oh, that's right, gosh, that's right. All this red tape. Pun intended, because they're because they're communists. They're they're reds. Get it? Uh, but we actually have to go back in this room. That's right. I forgot about this. Uh, maybe she can help us. Have you received the transfer order? I don't know. You should ask my colleague. Really, two people to do one job? <laughs> no wonder your economy is failing, Russia. Have you received the transfer order? Yes, we've just received. Receive the transfer for Candace Parker, blah, blah, blah. Show it to the KGB officer. There we go. That's what we need. Man, that was fast. In the, uh... Well, I mean, I guess this is still in the era of, uh... Man, it's, it's weird seeing that, that crossover of, like... They, uh, they must have, like, email, but they're also still... They still have beepers and pagers. <laughs> Real quick. I, I wanted to make sure I didn't pull out my gun. That would have That would have really been bad. I feel like I missed something in here. I think I, I think I did. Hold on one second. Uh, yeah, that's it. That would have sucked. I, I don't think I could have completed the mission. I think I would have uh, had to start over there. But yeah, we need the exit key. Yeah, there's a lot of like little stuff hidden on on tables. One good thing is that um, about this game is that when there's something on a table that you need to pick up, you don't need to do like that. Um, well, I guess if it was PlayStation, it'd be like the X button or. This is N64, so A. Yeah, don't question it. I'm head security officer. Yeah, be quick about it. <laughs> so we freed her. Uh, but yeah, all you have to do is like walk up to stuff. So basically, just kind of like, you know, push up against desks and stuff to make sure you don't miss anything. You don't have to like press A to pick anything up, which is good. Um, oh my gosh, that's right. This is, this is, this is kind of an annoying part of the game is that, uh, oh, we gotta break the news about Barnes. Yeah. Yeah, about that. Um, yeah, so in the first, uh, pretty much in this, um, in this level and a couple of other levels, like within this Recover the NOC list mission, uh, you have to like walk really slow, like she'll, she'll lose you or you can lose her. Um, and if she gets, like, too far away from you, sometimes they will, like, re-arrest... I don't think that they'll necessarily arrest her again in this level. Maybe they will. That If I wasn't so close to the end of the level, I would probably... I could also just moonwalk to make sure. Yeah. Head security officer is, got, is, is really good at moonwalking. Uh, but, yeah, we want to make sure uh, that you don't lose her. And that's super annoying to have to, like, keep turning... Because she'll get, like, stuck in doors, and she'll forget how to round corners. Oh, my God, it's, it's kind of a pain in the ass. But, um... Anyway, so, okay, so the level you're about to enter, are you aware that I'm playing? I think they mean, like, floor. Old-fashioned security hallway. Just how I like them. Good old-fashioned, homegrown security hallways. Um, might have run into one before. Tiles are booby-trapped, there's some guards, yeah, all that sort of stuff. Uh, this one, very simple, very direct. Um, we just have to get across and, and exit the level, I suppose. Um, but sometimes that's easier said than done in this level. Oh, well, that's nice of you. These hallways must be booby-trapped. Yeah, I know, because I just read the uh, uh, briefing. Yeah, you do that. You you, you do that. Um, 
pursue. Oh, I don't have control yet. Oh yeah, I guess the disguise doesn't really do us any favors anymore. So we're down to just having the dart gun now. Which is okay for now. Do you have to talk to her? Yeah, okay. I'm sure she did, right? And this will just... All we have to do is walk through the hallway. Oh, of course. That almost seems like more work to have to, like, make that happen than just deactivating them. But, uh, yeah, this is this is kind of annoying. Uh, so, obviously, yeah, you don't want to step on the red tiles. And you have to jump. And the jumping in this game is so awkward. It's... And, of course, they don't last the whole time. Yeah, the jumping is so bad. Did something hit me? I don't know. Uh... Uh, shoot. Come on. Uh, yeah, there's these guns up here. I don't think we need to shoot them now. They, they, no, we can't do anything with the dark gun. That, that's later. Never mind. Disregard. Oh my god, this is so annoying. Uh, ugh. And then, of course, the guards come out, but they're not too, they're not too bad. Ugh. Yeah, so the overall approach to jumping in this game, thankfully you don't have to do it too much, is to press A to, like, jump vertically and then move forward. Like, making a long jump is really... Where's that guard? Oh, there he is. It's really tough. Uh, I thought there was another guard that came out. One... Oh, gosh. Which tile am I not supposed to land on? Probably that. Oh, shit. Dang it. All right, let's try this again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, gosh. Not only is the, the jumping... Rough. Oh my god, now I lost bullets too. See, I lost. This is a good example of I lost, so they reset. So I guess 15 bullets is the default uh, starting ammunition here. Okay. Ugh. Oh, so close. One nice thing about the dart gun when it. Um, this one. Okay, this one's really easy. As I step on it and electrocute myself. Great. <laughs> One nice thing about the dark gun, at least in the early moments of the game, when it actually, like, uh, kills guards and enemies and that sort of thing, is that you can shoot them anywhere and it's one-shot kill, you know? The other, um, okay, so let me look at the pattern here. Okay. Um, oh my god! You're killing me, literally. Jesus. Oh, let's try this one more time. Third time's charm. Uh, yeah. So it is one shot kill with the uh, with the dart gun. You can shoot him in the head. You can shoot him in the chest. You can shoot him in the foot. Doesn't really matter as long as it hits some your 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 golden, which is uh, which is pretty nice. Uh, okay. Oh oh oh! I don't know how I got over that. I like just walked over a red tile somehow. Um. So one of the things that one of my uh, viewers had mentioned. Oh my god. Aren't you... God. Worst jumper ever. Jesus! Oh my god. One of my, view <laughs> one of my viewers had reminded me um, that uh, this game was actually also ported onto the... And I gotta get right there. Perfect. Uh, was also ported onto the PlayStation. I think it was like a year or two after the N64 version came out. I totally forgot about that. And, uh, you know, one of the reasons I'm making this, this Let's Play is... Come on. Is, uh... I, I don't know. I, I defend this game. I like this game. It's not perfect, certainly. Like, the mechanics of jumping are... Leave uh, leave much to be desired. Uh, let's get in the middle. Uh, but overall, I really like this game. But, yeah, the PlayStation port was really bad. Um, the controls were just not the best. Um... They, like, totally changed the design of, like, the web. It looked really super not polished. I'll have to maybe show that off. I'll have to show off the PlayStation port in uh, in a later episode or something like that. But, uh, yeah, I tried playing, and it was it was pretty rough. Um, okay, so their computer complex is set in an old underground sewage plant. This is the only place cold enough to hide stuff. That's weird. Aren't sewers really hot? Um, anyway, you know what? This is. I think this is actually a good breaking point. Um, I'm really running out of ammunition and health anyway, so, uh, I could shoot this guy. Nah, that's alright. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it quits here. I'm, uh, you're on your own, Candace. You can, you can handle it. <laughs> yeah, keep, uh, keep doing that. Keep doing 
really weak squat thrusts. <laughs> that is too funny to watch. There we go. Yeah, that's another way to fail a mission sometimes. She gets arrested. Uh, but it gets, it gets gets to show off this sort of thing. Uh, but anyway, so uh, yeah, that's it for now. So um, as always, uh, thanks for watching. Please like, please comment, and please subscribe. I do always appreciate it. And uh, when we come back next time, we will not fail this mission, and we will work our way through the sewage control. We'll probably just finish out. I can probably knock out this whole... Oh, get it? Knock? Haha! <laughs> I can knock out this whole mission. Um, so, yeah, until next time, uh, yeah, I hope you'll join me. So, uh, so, yeah, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.